good evening ladies and gentlemen coming on to the last and the most important video of this drug series uh, of this pharmacology series called drug names biologic agents was the last thing that was left in biologic agents we basically will categorize this into three subcategories biologic agents in this i'll be discussing in detail about the following three first talking about monoclonal antibodies second talking about small molecule inhibitors small molecule inhibitors and last but not the least interleukin receptor modulators i am sure you all of are well acquainted with them so this is tailor made for the usmle plap neat pg and fmg exams because this is one of the most sought after favorite questions of the multiple choice types so first of all monoclonal antibodies as the name suggests they target talking about monoclonal antibodies in the first they basically target over expressed cell surface receptor they target over expressed cell surface receptors clear so far great so they target over expressed cell surface receptors Now talking about some examples like if the suffix ends in xi map xi means it's a chimeric chimeric means it's a combination of human and mouse so simab is chimeric human mouse monoclonal antibody chimeric human mouse mon as the suffix is mab it means monoclonal antibody for example rituximab ritu rituximab Clear so far? Great. Now moving on to another one that is Zumab. Now one very important homework for you all. What is the difference between humanized and human monoclonal antibody? Like Zumab is. I'm sure you all of our who are preparing for these competitive exams, you know the answer. Please do let me know in the comment section. So humanized monoclonal antibody is Biva C. Zuma. Okay, and then coming on to the last one, that is Uma. In Uma, there is only letter U, and this is human, human, human monoclonal. There is U. What is the difference? Tell me in the comment section. Okay, this is Dino, Dinos Uma. Great. so we have finished monoclonal antibodies now coming on to the second part that is small molecule inhibitors inhibitors basically here small molecule inhibitors there is ib okay they basically as the name says they target because they are small molecule inhibitors they will target intracellular molecules they will target intracellular molecules okay here we have a few important drugs like cyclib cyclib now easy way to remember this is cycle this is a cycle cyclib 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 if you pronounce it cyclib cyclib it can be cyclin 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 dependent kinase inhibitor cyclin dependent kinase inhibitor for example palbocyclib palbocyclib okay then we have coxibs in a bit small small like cox2 is a small molecule cox cox stands for cyclooxygenase cox2 inhibitor example celecoxib Rofi coxib, Atori coxib, and all the coxibs that you know of. These are selective COX-2 inhibitors. This is just a revision. Then, Parib, the Pariniti Chopra one mnemonic, which I told you, Parib. It is basically Parib, P-A-R-I, Pari, or a fairy in English. So P is poly, A-D-P, ribose. polymerase inhibitor polymerase inhibitor parinidhi chopra was sitting in an ola cap so ola 
polar pattern okay then talking if the suffix contains raffinib this reminds you of varun dhawan from student of the year who was a brat but here instead of brat instead of t we have f it is a braf inhibitor like he was vela or free vemu rafinib all the braf inhibitors have the suffix rafinib then tinu anand in bluff master film yeah so here we go tinu anand tiny tinu anand film bluff master tinib t i n so for t we have tyrosin i n we have kinase inhibitor imatinib nilotinib erlotinib anything which has tinib at the end imatinib erlotinib nilotinib okay then moving on to zomib zomib like zombie okay zomib like priyanka chopra i told you dressed as a robot zombie in what's your ashi film zomib 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 can be written as somib also so protea somib or protea som it is a protea som inhibitor example borti zomib wherever there is zomib clear the last but not the least yeah i love the, to say this line it is interleukin receptor modulators a modulator is anything which can either increase the response or it can decrease not ne necessarily it can either be stimulatory or inhibitory that is what is modulator okay interleukin receptor modulator that is these are agonist or antagonists of the interleukin receptor clear like if there is the suffix which ends in leukin it is an interleukin 2 it can be an agonist it will be an agonist if it ends in leukin like aldes leukin aldes leukin and if it ends in kinra which is an interleukin receptor antagonist in which disease do we give it it is an autoimmune disease please do let me know in the comment section we'll be waiting for your comments it is ana kinra clear so this finishes your usmlp plab and neat pg and fmg revision